Sound on Sound at the Winter Nam Show 2015 with James Young from Munro Sonic. So, James, you've got some new little eggs for us, haven't you? We have. Actually, we've got new big eggs as well. Okay, there's do you want to tell us about both? Yeah, there's a whole uh, story around the egg thing. Well, we first launched the Egg 150 under the SE Munro banner about three years ago. And since then, we've separated out the two companies. So, Munro Sonic is being launched as a brand in its own right. Mm -hmm which is really cool, so that we can focus on the speaker technology and keep SE Electronics focused on microphones, which is what both companies do best. Mm -hmm. So we started shipping the Egg 150 in January 2015, so just now. The Egg 150s then, so what are the big changes with those? Um, okay, so we've made a number of modifications. The speaker itself stays the same. Mm -hmm. So we're using the same drivers, the same monocoque chassis. Um, so the essence of the product is still the same, and all of the reasons for having that egg chassis, the zero diffraction, the zero internal resonance, that all yeah. still stands. But the egg amp, we were able to make a number of revisions to, both aesthetically. Um, we've, ta we've taken on a, um, an Italian manufacturer and design company to do the front panel. So mm -hmm. from the home of the aesthetic, mm -hmm. we've got a really beautiful front panel design. And then the amp itself is being made by a British manufacturer, mm -hmm. a subcontractor. They actually make uh, military grade PCBs and metal work uh, right, for okay. the UK military. And uh, we're using yeah. them. So the chassis, uh, the chassis and the PCB, the amp itself are Should quite bulletproof. literally bulletproof. <laughs> yes, thank you for that pun. Yeah. You got there before me. Sorry. Um, no, that's cool, that's cool. Damn it, you've just stole my line. <laughs> um, so, uh, and we made a number of revisions to the sound itself as well. Yeah. So it, it looks more refined. The, the MIDI Q section is more usable. Um, and the bass response is, is a lot better. So you've got, you've got okay. a much punchier, um, more defined bass. And then the, mid, the, the kind of low to mid frequencies are much more open and detailed. Um, now, the old system was already very good, and it got huge critical acclaim. The sound on sound reviews were absolutely amazing mm -hmm. for that. Yep. The new system's just been reviewed in SOX, SOS, actually, and it got it has a, indeed, yeah. a superb review. So it's obviously going to do very well. That's out and shipping now. Right, so you've got these smaller ones then, a couple of tiny eggs. We have, yeah. So the, uh, the Egg 100, mm. these ones are 100 mils or four inch drivers. Um, the, the, the diminutive eggs. The amp is uh, about half the size of the, the Egg 150. Mm -hmm. The Egg 150 is 100 watts a side. This, this amp's actually 35 watts a side, but, right. but don't be fooled by the small numbers because these pack a hefty punch. They're very, very much louder than the equivalent size competitor models. Mm -hmm. They've got incredible bass response, absolutely superb. What are we talking, um, how low down are we going and how flat? Um, it's not, it, it doesn't go as low as the Egg 150. The Egg 150 goes down to about 40 hertz with only about a 6 dB roll off. So if you want to get real sub frequency with this, there will be a sub coming later on in the year. Okay. But down to 100 hertz flat, and then below that you don't get a very steep roll off. I mean, they, the, the performance is, is pretty cool on them. Okay. Um, and they're loud for their size as well. The amp doesn't have all of the features of the Egg 150 because we have to cut some stuff, but it mm. does still have a class A headphone amplifier in there, which is alone worth several hundred pounds because it's a, it's a very good headphone amp. Yeah. You've still got the LED on off switch, spike protected, mm -hmm. um, and then you have the main master volume control as well. So you don't have sure. to crawl behind the speakers to turn them off. But the main thing is that egg shaped monocoque means that you've got the zero diffraction, zero resonance, amazing sound reproduction, and a very, very high quality amp, which is kept outside the speakers so that you don't interfere with the acoustic properties of the speakers themselves. Great, so um, the tweeter as well, is that the same one as from the Egg 150? Yeah, it is, and then we have a, a, a new bass driver, absolutely. So that's, common, that's common across the range. Um, they're, gonna, they're being released, these ones, who are just pressing button on the production right now. Right. So they'll be shipping in April, for okay. sure. Um, they're gonna be, the stands will look slightly different to this. The stands are going to be this nice kind of egg cup, this kind of ribbed egg cup, so you can tilt the speakers in any direction. Okay. And the eggs themselves will be finished in black, in white, and in red, which look really funky. They're shipping in April. They're going to retail at £1,200 in VAT. Uh, the larger Egg 150 system is going to retail at £2,000 in VAT. There will be a sub coming later on this summer, mm -hmm. and we're going to do a 200 millimeter driver, so big rock and roll speakers later on right. in the year as well. So the brand is really kind of gaining momentum and, yeah. Fantastic. Exciting year for Monroe Sonic. Indeed. Well, thank you very much, James. Cheers. Thanks, mate.